What's going on my fellow bodybuilders? Um, back here again shooting another video for the Bowflex Extreme 2 SE. Um, I got this machine to uh, kind of just be a, I don't know, a supplemental workout in between like when I can't get to the gym, you know, if it's a late day at work or if I'm busy. But I've uh, got it set up in my garage here. I'm going to show you guys today a little combination of how to do several different um, benching exercises with this machine. Um, obviously you can do a standard bench press, you can do a close grip, you can do a wide grip, you can do a incline and you can do a decline, all really without adjusting too much. So instead of making five, six different videos, I'm just gonna wrap it all into one, so it may run a little bit long, but I went ahead and loaded my weight up. I've got um, two 50 pound rods on each side. So around 200 pounds of Bowflex resistance. Um, I'll show you here. Basically, the first one I'm going to do is just a standard bench, straight on, shoulder width apart. So let's let's give that a shot. You basically, just want to grab your hand grips, which are attached to the pulleys along the two. It looks like a T. Um, I prefer to keep the pulley latched into the third position. Um, I'll show you in a bit. If you switch over to the fourth, you can do that for wide grip. If you switch it into the first position, you've got a real narrow grip. So right now, just the most comfortable average uh, push-up, or I'm sorry, bench press, um, is just on position three. So, give me a couple reps here. You want to fully extend those arms straight out. And when you bring them back, bring them back to a 90 degree angle. See the 90 over here? 90, fully extended, and back. The slower you go, the more, it seems like the more you focus on the muscle. Um, if you're just doing them quick, you're not getting as much stabilizer and muscle workout. So that was a standard. I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to the fourth position and show you a wide grip or a wide bench. That's all it takes. Two little adjustments sliding out on the pulleys. Grab them again. Now my grip is really wide. This is going to be a real wide one. I may not be able to extend straight as far, but give it a shot. As long as you return back to that 90, you're usually pretty good. The final ones I'll show you, I'm going to go ahead and put back in a normal, comfortable position. Obviously, if you want to do a very close grip, you'll move it to position one and same exercise. I've got it in position two now. I'm going to show you an incline bench and a decline bench. And what's great is you don't need to adjust the seating, you don't need to adjust the back, any of that. It's all in your style of press. So if you're going to go ahead and do an incline press, obviously you're going to have to adjust your body a little. And just imagine you're pushing, you know, nine, uh, 45 degrees upward. So bring it back to a 90 degree angle on your arms and extend it up. And back and extend it up. And now, inversely, if you want to do a decline press, basically just grab your grips again, 
focus your body more in a downward position. This one I noticed it really works the inner pecs um, because when you're pressing into a fully extended motion, you're really bringing your, your hands down and together and your, your biceps are just, I mean, uh, biceps. Your uh, pectoral muscles are just pushing very tightly together. So you'll notice in this last motion here where you lock it out and you squeeze, squeeze those pecs, feel it in your chest, and that's a great one on the decline. So I'll show you here. You always start in the same position, about 90 degrees on the arms. Try and keep them level with each other. And then simply just push down and straight. And you can hold it there too, that'll really give you a good burn. So, whew, hot. All right, so that's the combination um, bench pressing on this machine. The Extreme 2 SE. You can tackle close, wide, incline, decline, traditional. You can pretty much mix it up however you want. That's, uh, that's about all I can explain for this motion. But um, yeah, give it a shot, see what you can do. Uh, I have another video too on my channel if you look. I pretty much loaded all the weights on, and I can bench it. Um, I think it's an issue with the pulleys and the resistance bands, just not, obviously not equating to real weights because I cannot bench 300 pounds. So uh, you can always adjust a certain thing too. Like if you move this pulley up to this bar up here, these motions are definitely a lot, um, a lot firmer, it feels like a lot more resistance. And I think it has to do with the tension on the band. So I'll keep playing around with it and I'll let you guys know what the best way to uh, get the most out of your machine is, okay? Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.